While the all-new 2011 Saab 95 is the first vehicle to be released since GM sold the manufacturer to Spyker, it was more or less a finished product by the time the Dutch took the reins. As a result, the third generation 95 enters the US market with numerous parts from the General. Most notably, a turbocharged 2.8 liter 300 horse V6 and Epsilon 2 architecture. Dubbed Aero Turbo 6 All-Wheel Drive, the introductory 95 starts at $48,490. Once we figured out how to get its turbo V6 breathing, we took the 95 to the test track. Zero to 60 took just 6.1 seconds. With the quarter mile done and dusted in 14.7 at 95.8 miles per hour. 60 to zero braking took a very sports car like 112 feet. The Saab completed our figure eight course in 26.3 seconds at 0.69 G and held an average lateral acceleration of 0.88 G. Objectively, the new 95 is a winner, evidence that a Swedish sedan with GM underpinnings and power can hang with the segment's top players. Saab cars have always been quirky automobiles and they should always remain quirky automobiles. It's their heritage, their DNA. That said, there's no excusing some of the 95's new quirks such as the slow, stubborn transmission. And then there's the cost. Our nicely equipped tester was far from obscenely optioned, yet its $52,350 price tag could cover other more powerful and arguably more prestigious competitors with room to spare. At $52,000, there are many other choices that provide more for less. Let's hope Saab's new owner guides the brand back to its proper place on the automotive scene. <laughs>